Hey everyone, it's TV dinner time. Get comfy, kick back. Uh, we actually have a new show we just started. Uh, the last, I guess, if you want to call it a season, we we watched uh, Gen V. It was eight episodes, so you can watch those. Those are all on our YouTube channel. Uh, now we're starting Bodies on Netflix from 2023. There's plenty of shows and movies and all that <laughs> titled Bodies. So if you do want to check this out, make sure it's on Netflix. It's from 2023 before you watch it. But yeah, and, let's talk about it. And we'll be kind of talking about some details about these first two episodes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all yeah. over the place though. Like I I do I do like that they actually give you the information about what timeline you're in. Cause mm. there's a lot of shows that don't do that. They're just like the first here. episode does. Yeah, the first yeah. episode. So you have to make sure you watch the first episode. So the first episode gives you like, okay, we're going back in time. Like, hey, it's 2023 now. They roll back the clock. It's 1940 something. 1943, I think. It's like during it's like World, World War, War II. II. Yeah. And then they go back in time again. And then at the like very 18, end, or like 1890. Or yeah. And then they throw a monkey wrench at the end of the episode. Like, oh, let's just go in the future. It's 20, like 45 or something like that. 2050. Something like that. And, and, yeah. and it's like, I remember when, when we saw the commercial or the, the preview where I was like, I thought this thing was supposed to be in the future. Like, is 2023 their future and everything? Mm, <laughs> and then it throws it at the end where it's like, okay, yeah. okay. So, like, four branching storylines that kind of yes. are intersecting right now. All centered around one body. Yeah. That's just there, just naked and just lost an eye. There's no bullet. It's just there. So we... But what we understand in watching both episodes is that the one so they so each so you're following a detective mm -hmm. in each time period, basically, and they find uh, a body. Like um, a John Doe, I guess. A John Doe uh, in like this, like in the same kind of like street. Right. Same and so alley, like yeah. every every single timeline has that same avenue or street. And so they saw, they find this person. In three of the timelines, the dude's dead. And then the later timeline, yes. the guy's the actually alive, right? Mm -hmm. So do we assume the guy's actually dead in those other timelines? Or like, what is this? And it's the same person. So yeah. how is he alive in like 2050? That's what I think he's I think it's a time traveler. I'm and thinking. then did you get from the second episode when he was born? Oh, no. No, I missed that. So when they were like, you know how like the, the detective got like the blood on her shirt and everything? Yeah. So they went to, the, to her brother. To her brother and stuff. And so the guy said the guy was born uh, oh, before 20. Yeah, 2023. Yeah, okay, so 20. Yeah. So it was like the year before that like big event Explosion that they had or something. Or something. Yeah. So okay. he, so it's like, all right, like, how is he alive, or how was he born, like a year before mm -hmm. our time, basically our present? And he's showing There's up in like so eighteen many. something and nineteen forty three and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so the one thing like, I, I'm enjoying the show so far. Definitely a lot of head scratching. Like, okay, what's going on right now? But I like that each time has its own feel. Yeah. Has the same different lighting, the sets different. Like I, I truly enjoy that. But I think my favorite, at least so far, my favorite time is nineteen forty three. With like, like the, it kind of feels like a noir. Yeah, I was gonna say like if yeah. it, it mimics like a noir type of like, like that shady story. Even the dude's kind of yeah. shady. The, the detective like, right, shady. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw this body in my trunk and drive off real quick and get busted. Like, come on, bro. And I was surprised in each timeline, there's like a some form of like, like, like discrimination that each of the the detectives oh, have detectives. to deal with. So, yeah. like in that timeline, in the 1943 timeline we're talking about is that the detective is a Jewish person in england during world war ii and yeah. so then there's like this this shady stuff that they're like his other detectives kind of like oh 
uh, are you like a, a traitor or something? It's like, at, are we come all on. fighting the same same people? I'm trying to do my job, <laughs> like, come on, let's figure out who this person is. Yeah, and, and then you go to the. 2023 where it's like the 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 whole like muslim aspect and everything mm-hmm. where like this individual kind of like stands out like a sore thumb with their headdress on and everything and and so and then there's this white kid that like follows them around and takes photos of so them. yeah i was gonna ask you about that like how do you think that's gonna play into the bigger story because did you that... did you see am i understanding correctly is that kid that's falling around and that she's trying to look for is that the the commander at in 2050 is he has the same last name oh that could be yeah yeah i didn't really because he was the one that was making he's the one that helped the detective in 2050 with her back apparatus so that could be the same kid just but I wonder why out. he's just stirring the pot. Like he's stirring the pot in 2023. And then has he learned how to time travel? And other people have too, I guess. Yeah. And so this is sort of like that, like, like when people start to learn time travel, they're showing up in other places and it's like, oh, well, how do you police that and stuff? Or yeah. Yeah, I I think that's the confusion where it's like, all right, where is this going? And if I'm if I'm understanding that correctly, if that's the same person, um, yeah, it, which would be kind of interesting, is. because yeah. it does match up. Like the kid is like in his like teenage years in twenty twenty three, and then yeah. he's like middle age. He seems like a fairly like the the right time frame in terms of twenty fifty and stuff, and how old he should yeah. be. So it's You're pretty interesting. Right. Yeah, I didn't I didn't connect the dots on the name. I kind of was just like, man, this dude is shady. And I was wondering like where that kid played into the story. Cause it seemed like that kid knew a lot more than everyone else, but was only given information to certain people, which was causing just a ripple effect. So that 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 does make more sense and kind of connects connects things in my head now that you say that. But now do you believe that that kid or whatever are we seeing the people that kind of have that it's like a cult it seems like a cult aspect yeah, where it's like, like the know that you father. are loved yeah, yeah and it's like they they kind of all know something that's like directing mm-hmm. things is that kid the main figure of it or is there gotta other be. kind of things he's got to be one of the ringleaders because he's been, I guess the one now, been showing up and yeah he's been the one showing up in photos oh you're so you're thinking 2023 he was just a part of it part of the cult or group yeah but then by the time 2050 hits he's the the main person i Is think yeah i think he kind of figured out the game that in the beginning like maybe and this is like going down the rabbit hole Speculous, like maybe yeah. yeah they they kind of figure out how to so this other entity figured out how to time travel and mm-hmm. then they kind of abduct these individuals or like kind of brainwash these people from different time periods. And then as they progress along, either they're snuffed out from doing their things or this guy just figured out how to play the game enough that he survived and stuff. Oh, we'll see. (laughs) I'm interested. Like now that you're saying that now that I'm kind of like taking a step back after watching both episodes, that makes sense. It seems like that's how it could play out. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm interested in it. Like, I know before we started recording, we both were like, man, there's a lot going on and not a lot has been explained. So, yeah, this helped. This made me kind of take a take a step back and really think like, okay, this is this is better than I thought. And this is more in depth than I actually thought. As I was now, watching it. did the first episode like catch you? Like, did it like hook you already? And like, you're like, all right, I want to watch the second episode. If they didn't have that fast forward at the end, it wouldn't have. Like I was kind of, inter- I was interested in it. Like, oh, this is cool. But once they did that time jump to 2050, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm in it. I want to see what happens. Me too. I, I wrote it down to my notes that it, it was, I was not hooked until they fast forwarded to mm-hmm. that 2050. Because in the beginning, you're like, all right, this is kind of like a time traveling, um, like detective show 
detective show, Sherlock yeah. Holmes and everything, which it still kind of is. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you have like different time periods is is all interesting. Kind of solve the same crime, too. Yeah. And there's some nuances where like I was shocked that the guy kind of like coughed up stuff at the end oh, and everything. Yeah. And it's like, all right, what does that do now? <laughs> yeah, that was a perfect way to end it. Like if they didn't end it that way, I think we both would have been like, OK, I'm over it. Let's watch something else. But the fact I that think so. she had to kind of bust into this back door alley, she sees the body, she goes to the body, and then we're like, oh, we've seen this three times. Like, this this person's dead, and then it coughs on her. You're like, oh, okay, I'm hooked. I got it. Let's, let me see the next episode. And then it kind of ends with the second episode. You're like, oh, well, yes. this lady found the person that they're looking for. Yes. But he's alive and dandy. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a professor. And you're like, I just saw you dead missing an eye. Like, what is going on? So I like now, her first yeah, reaction is like, oh, she's going to pull the gun on the guy and be like, <laughs> 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 like I'll ask questions later. <laughs> but but the, ba- the bandage, though. So he had both of his eyes, but the bandage True. was in a similar location. Now, so now it kind of makes me think, was that kind of like cut? Was that on every single body that we saw? So I know the eighteen, like ninety, mm-hmm. uh, morgue person f- saw oh, he that. Was just cutting the eighteen ninety morgue guy <laughs> was just cutting that body <laughs> up. He was like, "I'm fine." As we know, that guy's like too comfortable with this job. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have gloves on either. Oh, they were just no like, cared. and just going crazy. It's like, okay, slow down, sailor. He just wiped off his hands and then he's like, <laughs> he just ate a sandwich. So. <laughs> Let me shake your hand. Let me eat this sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think uh, the eighteen ninety had it. I want to say, I want to say nineteen forty three had it too. I'm assuming that they all have it then. Yeah. But then, yeah, what that does that mean? could be how they brainwash them. They could, like, insert something into that portion of the brain, and that's how they do it. Because they didn't could have be. a bullet. They didn't have anything. No bullet. Like an eye. And, and then we know that they have fairly advanced medical stuff in 2050 because, like, they're, mm-hmm. like, kind of working on them with robots and all that stuff. and And so... They have a means to do this, and maybe they have a means yeah. to clone people. Where Ooh. like there's a there's a second person walking around, and it's this doppelganger, and it's like, oh yeah, I'm here. <laughs> 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 I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited now. Like me too. I, I, I've I've enjoyed the way they've ended these these two episodes, so I'm excited to see the third and fourth. Yeah, it's pretty intriguing, and then even to know that like that. There was this photo in the 1891 where it's like there, there's reflection of yeah. this person. And then the medical examiner must have recognized them mm-hmm. or know what the hell is going on. It's like almost like this, like, oh, there's like this hush hush like people secret. that you don't mm-hmm. need to talk to and stuff. And, and that's why named. I think like, is it like like a time traveling, like police thing where like. The guy in 2050 is like, oh, now I can kind of like, remember Minority Report where like they would predict if you Mm -hmm. would like do crimes and then go back, go go to like, if you're like a little (laughs) child, they'll like deal with you then. (laughs) Like, don't do this in 2094. You're two. (laughs) You don't know what's going to happen, but don't do it. And you're like, all right. (laughs) Where it's like, I, I wonder if it's that where it's like, or this dude's like a time traveler and then he's like, he just gets messed up in those three time periods but somehow survives in the the last one there has to be something significant with that light burst because everyone had a light burst or light bulb burst and then they find the body so there has to be something tied to that so that could be the the time traveling triggers the light there's too much energy and the light burst and yeah yeah almost like a terminator thing where like when he shows up there's like all this like ball of lightning and stuff and he's kind of like yeah, but then that kind of turns into like, what's that event that they're like memorializing from twenty twenty three? So like, was there like a bat? Is that when they figured it out? And there's time travel, and then that was like that big event where like, like oh exactly. something happened, and then it's like oh well now we know how to time travel. <laughs> Maybe a bigger yeah. light burst. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I think I think no matter what, it's like it's intriguing to think about like, all right, like where is this gonna go? Mm-hmm. And and I don't know. I guess we can always speculate. Like, do you see this going to like 
depending on how it ends. I know it depends on yeah. how it ends. But like is this like a like we know Netflix is kind of difficult and like they only do like one season sometimes if they hey, someone sneezes horribly like in their boardroom they're canceled. like oh that one's canceled. Yeah. <laughs> like mm, we're not feeling it. But I don't know. I I think the the way that this one's kind of going it, it seems like a, it can be a fairly self-contained story. Yeah. So then but having it I, as I like can also one see season. them continuing like I can see these detectives figuring out what was going on, but they're not able to stop the larger group, if you want to call it group cult, whatever you want to call it. And so in the next season, they would pick up like, okay, now this new batch of detectives has to figure out how to implement or how to uh, infiltrate this group potentially. Right. I don't know. So they'll, they'll they figure all, out like, somewhere. It's like a big meetup, like uh, like Endgame. They, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they all, all come together. At the same time. <laughs> we have to go to 2050 and yeah. stop this. <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool, though, if they did it in the last episode. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> what year are you from? 1890. What year are you from? Like, oh, oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. I don't know. I like it. I like the characters. Uh, I think uh, I think all of the characters. The dude from that plays Al Capone from like Boardwalk Empire. Like he's pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm fairly pleased by this. I and it's good. Yeah. I think I think it was a good choice to choose this after like Gen V. Was this this yeah. is more like like oh suspense for it. it's like you're kind of like trying to figure out the pieces and you're like you're confused half the time. <laughs> yeah, even though Until Gen end, V were kind like... of confused, but. This one, it's like you're like <laughs> less confused. confused though. Yeah, at least we had a little bit of backstory from like the boys when we watched Gen V. This one is we're going in blind on this one. Yeah. Now, do you recommend watching these two these two episodes like randomly if someone asks you like what's what's new on Netflix or what's new in TV? Would you recommend would. this one? Yeah, yeah, I would. I think uh, I think we're interested enough in it that. I could recommend this to somebody like, Hey, I'm, I'm not too far into the show yet, but the way it's been flowing, I'm in, I'm into it. You may like it also. So I would definitely recommend this. I think so. I, I kind of think about my parents. I think my parents will like this as, as like something they can watch. It is an hour episodes, but something they can yeah. kind of watch at the end of the day and stuff and, and follow along. And the pace wasn't bad though. It went by pretty quick. Yeah, but sometimes you're like, yeah, you, you kind of get to the end. You're like, oh, crap. And it ends with like a big old bang. So you're yeah. like, damn, no, I got to watch this next one. I want to watch the next one. Yeah. Exactly. You're like, oh, I got stuff to do tomorrow. I got to wait. Like, I can't yeah. do it right now. <laughs> next time. Next time. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy this. And it's, uh, I, I think we both recommend it to anybody, especially with these two episodes yeah. that we just watched. And it's on yeah. Netflix. I'm pretty sure everybody has Netflix. Yes. If not, there's a way right. to find it online for free. But <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't condone that, but it's, there's a way. There's a will, there's a way. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have, if you've seen these two episodes of Bodies or the rest of the series, uh, please don't spoil it for us or anybody. Uh, but please let us know what you think. If there's any theories that you believe as to what's gonna what's gonna happen or transpire in this season, and uh, just subscribe to Saturday Night Popcorn.